Alright y'all, so this is going to be about a motorist who was left unconscious in the street after rioters dragged him from his car and beat him. Now, a violent mob of rioters chased down a motorist and dragged him from his vehicle on Sunday night before viciously beating him and kicking him in the head, leaving him unconscious with a gaping wound. Attack occurred near the intersection of Southwest Taylor Street and Southwest Broadway, just blocks away from the Monmouth County Justice Center, which has been one of the several epicenters for the ongoing night of riots that have played in downtown area for nearly three months. Uh, police said that a Black Lives Matter rally was taking place in front of the Justice Center shortly before the assault occurred. According to journalist Drew Hernandez, members of the group began to harass and physically assault the motorist and a woman he was with as the motorist tried to defend someone else who the group had allegedly robbed. Video footage showed the motorist female's companion being tackled to the ground and at one point during the confrontation, he then began to drive away to evade them. Uh, video footage showed the driver repeatedly honking his horn as members of the group punched and kicked his vehicle. One rider positioned near the passenger side of uh, the driver's white truck fell to the ground before the driver rapidly accelerated through the intersection. Rider screamed somebody get his license plate as he chased down the street after him in the video show. Okay, first of all, before I even go any further, okay? Y'all are... Y'all are attacking this man's truck. That is his personal property, okay? The woman in him, okay, is a human being, okay? Now, some of the things is that a transgender woman was robbed. Um, he was helping her. Uh, that, at that, it don't even matter, okay? Um, Y'all are blocking this man from driving away, okay? You pulled a female, a female... Okay, out of a vehicle. You're trying to get this person out of the vehicle. He plows through y'all. Okay, y'all get mad because he drives through y'all. Don't be blocking the intersection. Don't be pulling people out of the vehicle. Don't be kicking and hitting his vehicle. And y'all, one day got hit by the vehicle. Okay. Um, he crashed into a building. Someone shouted a moment later. So other riders began laughing. The group quickly converged on the crashed vehicle. Come here. Y'all know the word. One member of the group ordered just before the clip ended. Another video showed the riders pushing the driver away from his vehicle as he tried to leave the area yet again. The violent mob yet shoved him to the ground and circled around him. You're not leaving, bro. You're not going nowhere. Someone said when the driver tried to get back on his feet. Sit your down. They demanded that he hand over his keys as he sat bleeding from the head while asking to speak to with his wife. Another clip showed members of the group as they repeatedly punched the driver and he hadn't told him to go to sleep. A rider wearing a vest and minimalized with the word security of an execution style drop kick to the head from behind, severely injuring the victim. Um, let's see. The most appeared to be immediately knocked unconscious. A later video showed the blade victim laying motionless on the ground. That N word dead, one bystander comment. Uh, Ryder has been rummaging through his truck as the woman he been with began whirling and screaming. He had beat up. He had tried to run people over when he was saving you. Okay. A masked man told her. Camera then pan back over the injured assault victim. Okay. First of all, this is a perfect example of why we all need to have uh, concealed weapons permits. Okay. Because I guarantee you if this man was armed. Okay. Um, that, that would have been completely different, okay? Now, uh, I'm sure there are protesters there that are armed, um, with guns. We all know that they have fireworks, pipe bombs, stuff like that. Um, there have been shootings in and around these protests in Seattle. So, yeah, there are people that are armed, but, you know, honestly, we all need to have open care. Because that's going to draw back the crowd a good bit. Now, me personally, okay, um, this... The man left his wife, okay? Uh, me personally, if I'm married to someone, I'm not going to leave her behind. I don't care if it's me versus one person or me versus 200 people. I'm not going to leave my wife behind. You know, I'm going to do everything I can to get her to safety. Uh, let's see. One by sent asked for someone to call 911 just before they rolled the driver onto his side. He switched gave him a wound in the back of his head. Shouldn't try to run people over and one n-word one person said uh, someone dumped water on the victim's head while they waited for first responders to arrive 
police and riot gear encountered a hostile crowd when they arrived at the scene. A report said that protesters were chasing the truck before it crashed and they saw the driver in the crash. A severely injured victim was rushed to the hospital by ambulance. His condition is unclear. Police said the crash and the assault remain under investigation and they have not made any arrest in connection with the incident. I, um, earlier in the night, rumors alleging that someone was driving around the downtown area trying to hit pro rioters began circling online, but there has not been any evidence to support those claims. Um, so, and we are in the 80th night. Sunday was the 80th night, so tonight will be 81, I'm sure. I mean, what's to stop it? Now, um, with that being said, you, you know, you can't just, if you block streets, okay, you have a chance of getting hit. You know, you can't block streets for 81 nights, okay, and say that, and think it's okay. You can't surround people's vehicles and think that it's okay. You can't jerk people out of vehicles and think that's okay. You can't demand people give you stuff that you're not owed and think that's okay. It's not, it doesn't work like that, okay? You know, so I don't understand why they're thinking, like, why they're mad about this. You know, honestly, I... There's nothing else to say about this. I mean, Portland is just one of them cities that is going to lose control. Just like Chicago, New York City, um, Portland's going to join them. You know, honestly, I feel bad for any anybody who lives there, especially in the downtown area, and all the police officers there. I mean, I, I really I feel bad for them people. Uh, you know, this is just ridiculous. It really is. Uh, and there's nothing to stop it, really. I mean, the only thing that can stop it is sending the military. That's it. Because the police are so overwhelmed, they can't respond to 911 calls. Um, you know, you can try National Guard. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Keep everybody there in your thoughts and prayers. Uh, again, let me know what you guys think. And as always, thank y'all for watching. Y'all be safe.